Hi, I'm Fino, and welcome to the Demystifying 3D Experience web series. I'm going to take you through some of the concepts of 3D Experience, which are rather complex. I mean, just look at the word. 3D Experience, there's a whole lot of syllables in there. What does it really mean? Well, to break it down, if we look at how products are sold or how you become very addicted to a particular product, you think about the experience around it. Take the iPhone X, really beautiful screen. People want to own that and they're very loyal to that brand. And when you walk into Starbucks, anywhere on the planet, I can have the smiling barista and the wonderful coffee smell. So having a, a better experience for the consumer builds brand loyalty. Therefore, you're paying more for the coffee, but because you're very loyal to that brand and you're loyal to the experience that that brand has brought you in the past. How does that impact product development? Well, you think about it, if I'm designing a car and I've already got some models of the car out there, I'm already getting consumer reactions to that car through surveys and so forth, or complaints. So imagine I have this car with its digital twin inside my product lifecycle management system, and on the car I map the number of complaints about windows which are too narrow and I can't see very well. I'm mapping the idea of the dashboard, it feels too cluttered, or I don't like the door handle very much. Well, imagine I ma heat map those onto my actual digital twin inside the PLM system, and I can see which areas of the car require more thought and more design to make the experience for the consumer, the driver, far more superior. But that is really what I mean when I talk about building experiences, doing 3D experiences with this 3D digital twin. If that's all interesting for you, please go see my LinkedIn website where I have article demystifying 3D experience. Thank you very much.